Told you it came in purple. Eh? All right. Yeah. Just being the free wild hog I am. Aiden <laughs> Pierce, the hog man. Yes. Hogging it up. I don't have time for roads. <laughs> now I'm Aiden Pierce, the fish man. 8.2 on the dive. <laughs> That, that that launch from that bike was actually really hard to pull off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are very important speedrun tactics. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to show off that tech at SGDQ. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh, this is a good-looking oh. one. Never mind. We'll get that later, I guess. Yeah. No, it's... The QR codes are not worth it. <laughs> I hope these are untraceable. Something told me you'd be back. So now Tobias doesn't matter at all in the plot of the game. He's just a shop man. No, nobody followed you here, did they? And sometimes he'll tell you about collectibles, but other than that, he don't matter anymore. Ah, uh, I almost hate to part with it. But yeah, you can buy pretty much every type of item in the game from him. Like, he's the only place to actually buy, like, the blackout hack and all that if you don't want to bother... Sure. Uh, crafting them. So that's nice, I guess, except for the part where you can't warp directly to his shop, so you always have to drive to it. Oh. And it's the only place in the game where he has that shop, so, well. Like spot there ish. That's some real strong the wording. Bunker. Claire's putting a lot of faith in this legend. And Tobias was pretty spooked by it. I'm not interested in the myth, but if it helps me get Nikki, then I'll use it. It's not much to the myth, dude. It sounds like the myth is just what it actually is. Well, I mean, Bigfoot was one of their uh, testers, so... <laughs> did you find Tobias? I did. And? We played poker, had a nice talk. What did he say? Clara, it's real. I told you. Don't go in without me. I'm on my way. Don't worry. I still have to restore the power, and then we have to find an entrance. I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm going in. Bye. Bye. This The myth of this place would be way more interesting if there's an elevator that takes you down to underground stuff that's like the end of Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> I would enjoy that a lot more. Or, uh, uh Area 51 in, in, men, uh, in Independence Day. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of that, I watched Independence Day about twice <laughs> over the holiday. Or really any of the rooms where they just have stuff in Men in Black. Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, if it's got Will Smith in it, it should be the inspiration for this game. Oh yeah, totally. Totally. I can't wait to see the Pursuit of Happiness mission. <laughs> Alright, well, if there is ever a point in this game where you're like, you know, I need a break from uh, shooting men and then hacking stuff and then going back to shooting men, what if it was hacking and also the closest watchdogs can get to calling something a platforming level? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Super Aiden Sunshine, I'm for it. Whoa, 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 don't whoa. let that hit you. That's going to knock you out cold, Aiden. So yeah, this entire mission is just, like, activating this place. So it's entirely just about navigating and figuring out how to get to all three of the generator things. Down. Two to go. I just heard the generator kick on. Going to need more juice than this. Can you look for an entrance? How would Bloom hide a place like this? I hope there's a secret elevator. You pull a switch and the floor drops into a hidden base deep underground. Underwater? We're on an island. Wishful thinking. Up then. One of the buildings. I'll keep looking. What if there's some, like, grody college kids, like, doing urbex and they don't even know it's like a cyber bunker? <laughs> then they accidentally discover it, and then they become superheroes. Yes. 
They're no good teens who have to learn how to work together and how to save the day via their hacking stuff, and also Zordon's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They're teens with attitude, and... Hacking Rangers would be a good se uh, season. I mean, how many times can they redo dinosaurs as a theme? Yeah. Seriously. I would be alright with a Hacking Ranger. Or just like Chronicle, but with cyberpunk instead of uh, alien superpowers? Actually, you know what? The There's basically already that. That was um, VR Troopers. <laughs> where they went in the no, internet. No, no it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> That's like saying Big Bad Beetleborgs is about entomology. Alright? <laughs> there. Once we're in, can you get us online? In my circle, this is the fine of the century. If I fuck it up, you can take away my hacker card. Do you actually have a hacker card? Get us inside. Maybe I'll show it to you someday. I'm working on it. I don't have a hacker card. I'm the vigilante. Alright, here's my Mariano's card. Here's, uh... Nope, no hacker card. I got a vigilante card, though. I tell everybody I still have my V-card, and then they laugh at me, and I don't understand why they're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the vigilante, you guys. I'm cool, right? You know, uh, any car he steals, by definition, has the Fox engine? Oh, no. Yeah. Generators are back there. I'll just hack the gate. That also reminds me... Oh, other open-world games, such as... Metal Gear Solid 5. This game doesn't have the sweep feature that Metal Gear does, in which it, it tracks uh, how long you can drive a car on just two wheels. <laughs> it, it really likes to likes you to get your lean on when you're in a vehicle. And then are, are there, like, sweary-style leaderboards of a bunch of inane things? Uh, for... for yeah. That's I awesome. Mean, th there's one for, like, the fastest you kill every single crow or rat in the map. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got a lot of weird, like, little leaderboard things for things how, that don't matter. How many calories Big Boss eats? Yeah. <laughs> that should do it. I found it. I just heard the system come back online. Wait for me. Why? It's perfectly safe. Nobody's been inside for years. Because I want to see your face when the door opens. <laughs> Watch Dogs cannot compete with Metal Gear 5, even though it's a game that isn't out... actually out yet, because... Metal Gear Solid 5 actually has a fucking dog in it. We're all very excited for the game, alright? Alright. Let's just focus on the task at hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what Aiden was thinking about. He's really excited for Metal Gear. <laughs> Aiden took some time off to uh, watch all the E3 conferences. <laughs> Sony didn't even talk about Metal Gear. What the hell? Home sweet home. Hmm. See? I was right. DeadSec would make good use of this. Clara, we need to make a deal here. No one can know about this. At least until after I'm done with it. Of course. It'll be our secret little bungalow. I'm gonna put a microwave over here, Help me get and a giant life. stack of Hot Pockets right next to it. It'll be yeah. perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna live the life of that hacker kid from the movie The Core. <laughs> That's the life I want to lead. Fingers it's crossed. Here. Can you get the lights? Alice. Looks like Bloom took most of the hardware, but the connections are the important part. 
Voila. Can we be traced from here? This is a secure site. By design, it's untraceable, unhackable. Yet here we are about to hack it. I need to know where this IP address comes from. Let me see. What's special about it? It's just a lead, that's all. How did Damien find this? This is pretty well hidden. Doesn't leave any doors open. It looks like it's coming from the Rossi Freeman district. Viceroy territory. There. Surveillance. You can use those to get a peek inside. Can you connect from here? No. They're completely off the grid. This is bizarre. Well, if I can't connect from here, I'm gonna connect at the source. I'll have you up and running before you're back. Thank you for being my IT support. Yeah, thanks. How many channels I get on that? Not only did uh, Bloom take most of the hardware, they took the good furniture. Got some real shitty tables there. This looks like my apartment right now. Like, you'd think their test environment would have, I don't know, desks, cubicles. Mm hmm. Now we just got a lot of crates and we got a lot of dusty uh, drapes to throw on top of them. Fantastic. Look, it's... Bloom spent a lot of money on making the CTOS thing work. They don't have money for an interior decorator. Bringing Claire into this. I shouldn't. Trust is dangerous. But without her, I'd be nowhere. She's the closest I have to a friend right now. Really? This is just a dark, gritty retelling of the Shrek donkey relationship. <laughs> Aiden, welcome back. I've made waffles. <laughs> I need to get CTOS network access. Sorry, I have to leave. I have to go climb this far quad tower. <laughs> I have to hack it to unveil things on the map. Wait, you just stole her car. Yeah, I think I just stole her car. After that little speech about trust, mm -hmm. you stole her car. Oh, Aiden. This is a, this is Aiden's version of a trust exercise. If she gets mad, then she's not worth being friends with. Shows that people are rallying on the side of vigilante suspect Aiden Pierce. Wait, who? People are even offering to protect Pierce. However, Chicago PD warns that doing so could lead to criminal charges. Man, this secret identity thing's really hard to keep up. Chicago PD also states, whenever you say that thing that you think is a name, I just hear wah, 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 I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. Every time you try to say Aiden Pierce, you just end up saying la, 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 it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> fake. This wall is fake. Ce n'est pas un wall. That would be a great place to put an Easter egg where you just drive your car through it, it breaks, there's something cool on the other side. But no. Hell yeah. There are some other Easter eggs in Watch Dogs, but they are few and far between for the most part. So this is this area is a pretty good example of how good the baton is. In that even when you're being shot, it doesn't really matter as long as they aren't too spread out. Because <laughs> it, it's... Your takedown animation is... you're invincible the entire Whoa! time. So, well, that doesn't matter. Hey! Oh, that guy shooting me? That doesn't matter. I'm gonna heal while I'm knocking this guy out. <laughs> that guy's confused with the pallet. It's fine. I don't know what kind of training they give that guy. I got jam on my face. Doesn't matter. I do like the handy little, uh, uh, collapsing animation with him poking himself in the thigh. Yeah. <laughs> Like you're not gonna beat somebody again in the next ten <laughs> seconds. <laughs> what does it matter that it fits in your pocket? Just keep it out. Although apparently, like, classical batons, like, 
aren't something you collapse with your hand and it would be like really fucking hard to apparently. I don't really know how they work, but people keep saying that. Oh, he's got massive bruises right okay. there on his hip. Yeah. Well, I just got a new rifle. It's called the Goblin. It also shoots bullets. <laughs> it, in the uh, eventual sex scene that we all know is coming, mm -hmm. uh, Claire is going to be like, what the hell is that, Aiden? Like, what? That's not how you baton? What? That's, that's what you do, right? <laughs> oh, you mean I've been fucking up my leg all this time? I've just been. There's a button I press? Well, shit. Okay, let's time to sample some more human misery. Somebody spent, like, a week at work making that randomizer logo. Yeah, I mean... What? It's a good thing my grow room is on the grid where the city can see it at all times. Uh, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Sick. The police have this, right? Like, that's the yeah. point. CTOS recording your every waking moment. <laughs> and the public has no idea. What was le we legalized in this alternate future? Is it the one good thing that happened? I guess. <laughs> so there's a computer inside this guy's tablet? Yeah? Like, not even the camera that he uses in the tablet, just inside it. Yeah. Sure. He's an optician, I think he was at work, but he was playing a game. That was the punchline of that one, I suppose. If he could actually read the very small text. <laughs> I wish these things were displayed larger. Alright, here we go. You got this, guys. Uh, are you serious? Ten million dollars a year and you can't catch a fucking ball? Kill yourselves, you pieces of shit. I'm just confused about how you get... Like, what league lets you play with aluminum bats and still pays ten million dollars a year? <laughs> yeah, that was the sound of an aluminum bat. Again, alternate timeline. <laughs> baseball's, baseball's way different. I'm glad the camera can detect people when they're asleep. It's okay, folks. He is not dead. Prostitute. Whoa! Whoa, did I blow your mind with how real this game is? Health risk. Smoking's Whoa. bad. That's our commentary for the week. See you next week. You're welcome, CTOS. The little thank you is kind of charming. Sound analysis. I... I don't think we really need a computer to help us with this. Whoa! Dude, you see what's happening? Alright! Yeah! Dude! I do like signaling touchdown. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> what a goober. <laughs> Is it, I wonder if... Because this area is all gated off, but they're like still NPCs. Like, there's people making out right over there. If they just turned around, if that guy like opened his eyes, he'd go like, "Oh wait, there's a lot of unconscious bodies right over there." Oh my god! You don't want to ruin your date. He could score. Yeah, this seems like a bad place to have a date. I don't know. Just do whatever you can to maintain the mood. <laughs> Note to self: Call 911 tomorrow. Yeah, it's. The V Alley? A, f a famous alley for its gang warfare. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Hey, it's Rayman again. Good job, Rayman. You're Ray the mayor Man of everything. Rayman loves gang shootings. Yeah. He loves being the mayor of Watch Dogs itself. Oh, uh, did you see that they announced the next Ubi art game? Oh, did they? Yeah. 
It's going to be a uh, Gravity Falls license game for the 3DS. Oh, jeez, I didn't know... Th I knew the Gravity Falls game was announced, but I didn't know it was an UbiArt game. That's cool. 